when you need my bed. I'm here when you need my bed.
updates uh we are at whaleback right now i'm getting eaten by horse flies but that's just how the trail has been there's a lot of bugs here make sure you're really careful you do this fast uh, i don't think bug spray really helps with this and <laughs> there's snow up here so you can definitely cool down on hotter days like this but this is our view Welcome to my after hike summary for Twin Falls from Twin Falls Campground and then the loop to Whaleback. So it has a very long name and not such a clear name for this trail on all trails, but basically it takes you from Twin Falls Campground to Twin Falls, the lodge over there, what used to be the lodge anyways, and then it takes you up to Whaleback and then down through Marpole Lake and back to Twin Falls Camp. So I did this as a day trip from when I went backpacking and I will give you guys the stats of this one. So we did this one on July 20th 
and it was 13.6K with a 761 meter elevation gain, which is not bad. That's actually a pretty moderate hike. However, the day that we went was very, very hot. We've definitely been going through a heat wave this summer and it hasn't been helping with the fires and everything like that. My conditions on this particular trail were a little bit smoky, unfortunately. So I did have a view. I did have a pretty good view with my phone and the photos I took almost actually like I don't know how it does it, but Samsung phones almost filter out the smoke better than other phones, if that makes sense. Because I used to have a Huawei and every time I would take photos of a really smoky day, you couldn't really see the mountains so well. But with this phone, it actually manages to capture things better than the naked eye. So you can't see certain things in real life, but you can see it when you're taking photos on the Samsung. This trail started off very hot and a little bit smoky, but we were around a lot of water, which was really nice and refreshing. So the trail to Twin Falls from Twin Falls Camp is actually pretty easy and does not take long at all. It's about a kilometer and a half maybe, and it's not too steep. There is a couple hills, but nothing too crazy or anything like that. When you get to the Twin Falls Lodge, you can see the falls directly in front of you, but you can definitely get closer to them. So once you get to the lodge, don't just stop here. Definitely go up to the falls and see them in their full glory because they are beautiful. So they kind of remind me almost of Takaka Falls, but just like divided into two. It is really cool. But yeah, the lodge up here, I believe closed down a few years ago, but it is still standing and it is still there. It's just kind of boarded up. So from here, we went up to Twin Falls. We saw the falls. We were like, ooh, pretty, took a bunch of photos. And then we decided to go on top of the falls. So you can do a little bit of hiking and you can get to the top of Twin Falls right where they you know, come down the mountain, which is really cool. I didn't even know that you could even go up there because I know for Takaka, I'm pretty sure you have to rock climb. But for this one, there is a well-maintained trail there and we did see quite a few people hiking it, which was really cool. I didn't expect anyone to be up there, but I guess a lot of people were camping there for the weekend. And this trail is very, very close to the Ice Line Trail. So if you're staying along the Ice Line Trail, you can do this as kind of a day hiking trip as well. So we went to the top of Twin Falls. It was very beautiful up there. Very, very beautiful. It takes you further along. There's like river crossings with bridges and stuff like that. And you can see the glaciers around there. There's meadows up there, meadows of flowers. It is quite beautiful. We went to the top of Whaleback next. And this part right here is where I was like a little bit disappointed with the view because it was a little, you know, a little smoky up there. So you can go to the top of Whaleback Peak and that was kind of our original plan. We were gonna do that, but it was a really hot day and we definitely did not have enough water to sustain us if we went all the way up there. I did have my Life Straw water bottle, so I didn't run out of water this time, thankfully. And that thing came in handy so many times during this backpack trip so highly recommend that yeah we went up to well back but not to the peak and then we headed back down through the really endless boulder field that said it was only 1.8 K but it felt way longer I am just not a fan of boulder fields they are not my favorite thing when I'm hiking I would say they're probably like my least favorite thing it's just boulder fields they're just annoying so I know I, I tend to do a lot of hikes with boulder fields but they're not my favorite and there was marmots here. They were really cute. We saw a baby marmot for the first time. So we got through the boulder field, finally got to Marpole Lake. Marpole Lake is a small little alpine lake. It's very, you know, reflective. I got some shots of the trees kind of reflecting in the water. It's a really beautiful spot. And then we headed back through to the lodge and then back into the camp. So that was our little day trip from the Twin Falls campground. And it was a really cool experience. I did really enjoy camping here. I think it's a really nice well-maintained camping area and there's so many trails you can explore here. And I didn't realize that there was so many trails, but I did look on my all trails, you know, suggestions after. And I realized there's so many things that I want to check out. Like I want to go to Isolation Peak or Desolation Peak or something like that. That is a really interesting name for a hike. And it's kind of like if you follow 
the trail past Laughing Falls. There's campgrounds galore here also. You can camp at Laughing Falls. You can camp along the Ice Line Trail. I wanna check out the Ice Line Trail next, I think. That will be, you know, a next year goal probably because there's not a lot of time this summer that's left over but overall i did really enjoy this hike and if you are staying either at laughing falls campground or at twin falls campground this is a really really great hike to check out so that is all for this video i do hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one if you are not already subscribed please go ahead click that subscribe button below i upload three times a week sunday wednesday and friday and i will see you guys soon Bye.